Ladies and gentlemen, today we got a very spicy video for y'all boys. Man, I love these kind of videos. <laughs> oh my lord. I love these kind of videos, bro. I'm just trying to figure out why do rec randoms have to go after each other so heavily? Like, why do we gotta just attack each other on the same team? Why we gotta put each other down? It's uncalled for. Of course, you guys don't understand what I mean by that, so I need you guys to watch this full video to understand what was going on. Man, this was funny. I can't lie. I cannot lie. This is a little entertaining. So the game starts off. It's a chill game, bro. It's just Rick Randoms, the usual. As you guys can see, this Xbox player was in game chat on my team. He was talking in game chat, and I'm gonna be honest, throughout the video, he wasn't saying anything crazy. He was trying to be positive. He was a positive 2K player. I gotta respect that these guys come down and they got a bucket to go to start off. But now I could tell in game chat that he had a positive mindset towards 2K for real. Right there, he's telling that center, good shot. That's a good shot to take, even though he missed it. Even though he was butt naked right there, I ain't even gonna lie, pause. But check out point guard Jers in action. Look at the absolute dime to that man. He bricks it though, sadly. I try to go for a putback, I miss it. We get a foul, still haven't scored yet. Now real quick, I just wanna say, if y'all could do me the favor by the end of this video and let me know who did you think was in the right or wrong. As you can see, the guy with the red hair gets a steal. Who did you think was in the right or wrong in this situation? I haven't explained what's been happening yet, but you guys are gonna find out. So as you guys saw, that red haired guy misses the shot right there. I end up finding him one more time for another open three. Yes, sir, baby, and he bricks it. Respectfully though, it's still the first quarter. I'm not too upset about it. He's in game chat explaining to me that he has a new jump shot on. He's testing it out, working through the kinks, it's fine. Midway through the second quarter, I'm looking to start getting active. As you guys can see, this guy hits me on the back door. That was a beautiful pass. I get to let it go. Bro, the score, don't look at the score. The score is nasty right now, I ain't gonna lie. We keep doing our thing though, we keep playing our game. They find me open again in the corner. Oh my God, I think I got my jump shot fixed. I don't know about y'all, but I've been feeling mad confident in my jumper lately. And respectfully, as a team, we were playing amazing defense. I had to be proud of that. These rec randoms were locked in on defense. But this right here, bro, bro, look at this picture. Look at this angle. Yo. Now this right here, this is a rec random. If you want the definition of a rec random, if there was a definition where you could look in a book and see a picture of a rec random, this would be it right here. This would be, just look at the whole picture. I rest my case. Let's continue though. That was insane. That was absolutely insane, and we get the turnover for it. At least he tried to pass out, but that take was a little crazy in my opinion. And as you guys can see, the first quarter is coming to a close, and the score is currently 9-2. to Make that 9-4. to It was a nasty first quarter. I can't even... I was disappointed. And to add insult to injury, we were going to take another open shot and brick that one too to end the first. Respectfully, this game was looking disgusting. And in the second quarter, I realized I had to be the one to get the offense started. So here I get a nice body bump on the center so he can't contest the other center for a shot and he cashes it, let's go. I'm responsible for eight of our 12 points for a reason. But yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it's super hard to play power forward in this 2K for some reason because I feel like, am I supposed to get boards or am I supposed to cherry pick? If I get boards, chances are I'm not getting points because everyone's on a fast break. And if I do cherry pick, then I'm not getting that many rebounds. So it's a lose-lose situation for me. But nah, I really need y'all to watch this for a quick second, bro. This is the funniest thing I've seen in a minute. This guy takes a shot like that and immediately leaves the game. Immediately leaves the game, bro. Now, as you guys can see, this is a very low scoring game. The game is not going good for both teams. I'm still disappointed. And I'm 100% not liking that I'm not getting involved completely in the offense and we're taking shots like this at this point in the game. I wasn't even gonna make this a video until I saw this moment right here. So as you guys can see, that guy gets wide open for a jumper and he cashes it. Now I'm gonna show you exactly what happened after he made that. Bro, this guard out, man. Bro, them niggas is not scoring. What, what are you getting on the mic saying we been guarding my man? But yeah, immediately the center comes into game chat and tells the guy, play up on your man. Don't leave him open type thing. Which is a little crazy because they've only hit one three for the whole game, Cash. Meanwhile, I'm on fire. Meanwhile, I'm locked in, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So in my opinion, there wasn't really much place to just say play up on your matchup to the guy in the red hair because his matchup was shooting one for six. But that's just my opinion. You guys let me know what you think. I personally thought it was weird that the center came to game chat and told him to play up. But right here, I messed up the switch and they get an open three to go. That's on me. 100% on me, but notice how the center did not come in the game chat to say anything then, but it's all good though. I'm gonna get that three back in blood, you feel me? I've told you I'm locked. I don't know what it is, but the shooting feels so nice. 
But let me stop though, bro. It was definitely a fluke that I was shooting good today, for real. But we keep pushing the offense. The center ends up getting the ball right here and he gets a layup to go. Yes, sir, easy work. We're up by 11 points. The quarter is about to be done, but something happens at the end of this quarter. These guys end up getting another open three-point shot. They cash it. The center is back in game chat. Bro, will y'all fucking guard him? Best it's you, bro. Just stay in front of him. Bro, that nigga has six Ooh. points, bro. Calm the fuck down. Calm the fuck score. down, bro. Look at the score. It's 20. Yeah, so calm the fuck down. Yes, exactly. Look at the score. It ain't about calming down. Stay in front of him. That's all I'm saying. Oh, two I've been guarding oh, two Shut the fuck oh, up. My <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Look at it. Two or seven. Exactly. Me, I am. I don't need you to tell me to do what I've been hey, doing. Yo. Hey, Goddamn, yo. Hey, yo. Just take the critique and just keep going. Yeah, take it. Don't say it twice, bro. nigga. You keep hopping on the mic yeah, saying it. Ah, bro, I wasn't talking about you. already said it. Now I'm talking about you. Hey, yo. Oh, no, you nigga. said the same <gasps> thing the first time, Shut nigga. up. Get a bucket, nigga. Get the fuck up. Yo, oh, ass, nigga. Oh, you blocked, Shut nigga. the fuck up, bro. I don't care. Yo, 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 chill, chill, chill. Let's you lock shitty, in, let's lock in, chill, chill, chill. Let's, chill. Right. Chill. let's lock in, let's lock in. Definitely not, man. Let's lock in. Let's lock in. Chill out, chill out. Use a hoe. Hold on, that's crazy. Nigga, you two for seven, boy. You a hoe, nigga. Oh, nah. Y'all talking spicy. Y'all talking spicy. Chill, bro. Y'all talking spicy. That's why you bitching like a little girl. Oh, nah. Say the nigga that keep hopping on the mic. Oh no. Nah. Nigga, all I said was You the only one talking. What Shut the, the fuck? Hell up. That's my bitch. Ain't nobody Tell talking. Tell you how to fucking play the video game, you Shut dumbass nigga. Up. Oh no. Nah. You turn your mic off then. What the fuck is wrong with you? Now this is my favorite part of Rec Random, bro, because there's no way. These guys are just going at it for no reason. I'm pretty sure the matchup was shooting two for seven. Those were his only two threes. Now the center wasn't 100% wrong. He definitely needs to play up on his matchup before he, you know, got in a groove and started cooking up. But as you guys can see, the red haired guy gets a layup to go. But at the same time, it seemed like this was personal because when I gave up a three, the center didn't say anything. He only said something when the guy with the red hair gave up a shot. Now maybe it's PlayStation versus Xbox Rick Randoms, who knows? Maybe they just on each other's head tops, who knows? I ain't gonna lie, towards the end of that, bro, I was trying to instigate heavily, but the guy with the red hair is trying to prove Downers wrong. He's trying to let us know he liked that. He's trying to let us know he's really him. Put some respect on his name. Now, I really want to ask y'all boys, all my subscribers out there, anybody watching this video, who do you think was in the... Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh! Oh, he was locked in! But not for real. Comment down below, who did you think was in the wrong? The guy with the red hair or the center on our team that came in the game chat every time the guy with the red hair gave up a shot? Who do you think was in the wrong? I'm gonna be honest, in my own opinion, as you guys can see, his matchup is shooting two for eight. He's shooting five for 11. I thought it was weird that he came in the game chat to talk trash to the two shots that he gave up out of eight. That's just me, but I'm also a little bit biased because of right here. This guy had me wide open, didn't pass it, and he got blocked. So I'm personally on the side of the guy with the red hair, even though he also took a very crazy shot when I was wide open. <laughs> even though. But now, nah, y'all boys really have to let me know, though, because that escalated out of nowhere and so fast, it actually had me surprised for real. But the third quarter is going to come to an end, and we have a 14-point lead to end the quarter. I'm very positive we're going to win this game. I'm not worried about this other team. Our defense was playing very solid on top of that. I get the ball right here and get fouled and get to get three free throws. Do you know what I do, bro? I'm telling you, you want to see if I'm locked in, bro? If I'm green and free throws, I'm locked. If I'm green and free throws, I'm locked in. I'm securing a 17 point lead to end the third quarter to seal the game. I'm daggering free throws in the third quarter. Yeah, because I'm not going to lie, 14 points is still possible. But 17 points when you only scored 29 and three quarters? Yeah, we had them right where we wanted them. We had them in a the position that we wanted to have them in. Pause. And the one thing I can say for sure is that I was a proud man, bro. I have never seen Rick Randall play such good defense before. I had to appreciate it. I had to respect it. These boys was balling out defensively. We get the ball on offense. Red hair's open. He gets a wide open shot. Bro. Do y'all not peep how nasty that was? That wasn't a foul, but right here, I get fouled. I get a chance for the M1 and I brick it, bro. I gotta learn the timing for those. More free throws for me? You already know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Lock in. I was having the kind of stat line that I like to see. I had eight shots, 19 points. It was beautiful. 
Respectfully though, all jokes aside, I feel like if I was getting a ball more in this game, I could have went diabolically crazy. I was locked in. As a matter of fact, y'all talk to me. Are y'all seeing a difference in 2K shooting? Cause I'm gonna be honest, for this whole day, I was actually knocking down shots at a crazy rate. Bro, are you sure shooting hasn't been patched? Like, y'all let me know if it's a positive thing or a bad thing on your end, but I'm not gonna lie, I feel like a demigod out here. But I'm gonna toss this clip in there just to humble myself whenever I say that I'm locked in shooting wise because this was crazy behavior. This was crazy. <laughs> Yo, who do I think I am, bro? I have an 83 point. Who do I think I was, bro? You see, that's why I don't get my confidence up in 2K, because I just embarrass myself afterwards. But I found it extremely funny right here where the guy with the red hair came back to talk trash on the center and let him know, how are you gonna talk about me when your matchup got the most points in the game? He was talking his talk. How are you gonna talk about me when your center got the most points? As you can see, he had 17. And his matchup was shooting eight for 18. The guy with the red hairs matchup was shooting three for 11. That's why I really don't understand why they were talking trash to each other at all. Both of them played a good game, but like I said, y'all boys, I really want y'all to let me know who was in the wrong. Both of these guys ended up doing what they had to do to help me secure a dub in the rec center, so I'm a thousand percent grateful for that. We were able to get it done. But I really am curious as to who was in the right and who was in the wrong in your opinion. Like I said, the guy with the red hair was super positive, so I respect him for that. He was never negative. I feel like the other center was just on his case for no reason. But anyways, we got the dub. As y'all boys can see, I had 22 of them dangs. And that was GG's. Thank y'all boys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the latest rec random video. This is actually not that bad of a video because I actually won.